right, well, as you can see, we're at the shop parking lot and uh, managed to get um, my nephew Brandon down here and also had some assistance from uh, Lawrence to get these uh, damn vandalized windows boarded up. And they look good. It was relatively painless. So that's nice. So the next order of business might be to uh, put up some uh, security cameras. And then hopefully the vandals will leave those alone. And also, we have to repair this damn sign that uh, the neighborhood kids will not leave alone. So not only do they scribble stuff on them all the time, uh, the bus stop is right there. But um, I watched a kid put his arm through this when he's climbing on a snowbank uh, in the winter months. And I've been trying to seal up what I can of this uh, busted up. The crack has finally gone all the way to the edge. So obviously we have to replace that. The, you know, the vinyl is in bad shape anyway, so we need to redo that. And it's in similarly bad shape on the other side. So, uh, yeah, that's the next step. It's incredible the kind of crap that goes on in this parking lot. Like, what about these uh, these parking, uh, these concrete parking things? How the hell did this happen? I don't. I'm pretty sure it was not the plow. You know, our trusty plow guy. The fuck? How does that even happen? Those things are heavy too. I tried to push push it back, and it does not want to go. It's it's heavy. So I don't know. This is uh, apparently. Uh, how I spend most of my time as a tattoo artist is messing around with uh, stuff like this. It's frustrating. Uh, it's not the kind of uh, cool lifestyle that one might imagine where I just get to draw things for a living. It's um, a huge pain in the ass for a majority of my time. Not that, you know, I don't enjoy being able to make art for a living, but it ain't making me rich. It's just barely paying my bills. It has no benefits, has no pension. And they have left, so far they've left the sign alone. Painted that, you know, 15 years or so ago, or maybe further back than that. 